welcome to this lecture now uh, i am going to start a new series on uh, latex so in this lecture i will give a brief introduction of latex and its brief history and what latex can do for a scientist and the engineer or a mathematician uh yeah so what is latex so latex is a high quality type setting tool and uh, it contains special features for publication of scientific documents and it's a free software and tech t e x it is taken from ta as uh, shown here it's uh, ta and then epsilon and chi this is tau this is epsilon this is chi so it gives us the tech and uh, this is a brief history i am not going to talk about all these here so initially it was started by a 1962 by professor donald e kun and is uh, basically a mathematician then Uh, after uh, sorry in 1980s it is started as latex by lazy lampert and then a new version will came in 1986 and so on uh, okay so tech and the latex so tech and the latex are both tools for computer type setting for placing text on a page it's a well known for its abilities with most difficult type setting jobs uh, like mathematical equations or the scientific text and uh, how to write down long and intricate documents and it works on various languages means it works on multilingual and its output is a of highest quality now let us talk about advantages of uh, latex so it's a uh, best output it gives us always best output it knows type setting and that uh, knows type setting means uh, how to adjust the font of the section sub section etc it's a very fast and it's very stable and when we give input to it it's a plain text and output can be anything but we have to learn few commands and it's a free and it runs everywhere it may run on windows or it may it may run on linux but in linux environment it runs in a very beautiful manner and this is little bit difficult to learn not so difficult but it is little bit difficult if we compare it with the microsoft office uh but if we do little effort then everybody can master it and uh, we cannot see changes in the document directly for that we have to compile the document and then see the output right then it can do so many things even the presentation which i am showing here i made this presentation in latex it can take care pictures tables bibliography citing references cross references and even it is used to make presentations posters books articles reports letters and uh, we can write down equations in a very beautiful manner so let us start uh with the beginning of latex document so i am giving here a brief example of a simple latex input so basically it is the input so it starts with slash document class what type of article you are writing so or it may be in place of article you may write down rep 
passport, book, and so on, etc., and etc. So you have to start any document with the begin document and end document, and you have to write down the text in this way. So when we compile this input, the output will be shown in this manner. So this is the output of this simple text. So in the next lectures, I will tell you that uh, how such documents can be written on LaTeX. And it's basically a standard input. So it's a document class. It's a font size. What type of paper we are using? It's a one side or two side document and it's an article I am writing. And these are certain fonts which I am importing. So for that I have to use the command u slash use package. And these are very important three documents which we have to import. These are basically uh, maths, fonts, and the symbols all are imported using these three commands. And if you're writing down equations, then I will suggest you that you should always use these three packages, right? So, right. So, these four things. Similarly, you can import other packages also. So, now this is the title of my document means uh, slash title. It is the first document. I'm writing down the author name. Say date is the 15 November. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'm writing it here. And here begin document and end document. And in between here, it is the begin title page, make title and so on and title page. And this is the first document containing preamble. So let's let, let me see that how output looks like. Okay, so this is the output. This is the output of a first page. This is the output of first page, first document, Arun and this. Let me go back. It corresponds to this part. Its output is shown in the next slide, right? So say this is one and corresponding to it, this is the output of this. And sorry, it's not first, but it is the second page. So output of uh, this part is this one, right? This is my first document containing preamble, right? So it is the output of this, right? This is my first document containing, this is the second part. So it is the output of this. So it will take care of the font size. It automatically adjusts the font size. And this is the beauty of LaTeX. So there are many advanced tech editors especially dedicated to LaTeX and a few are listed here open source Octec, GNU, TechMax, Kyle, LaTeXilla, TechShop and so on. So Winshell, Delity and uh, these are some other proprietary, right? So these are open source, these are freewares. And uh, I will tell you that how we can write down document of LaTeX using a Kyle. Kyle is a basically text editor for LaTeX. Like, this is also very beautiful. LaTeX is also a very beautiful uh, uh, text editor. But I will tell you only about the Kyle. Okay, so let us see that how equations can be written. 
So here, in between begin document and end document, if you start writing slash begin equation and end equation, you have to write down equation in this or in between begin equation and end equation. So it is H, this is this is a symbol of pi so it is h slash psi if i write down simply psi so this psi is because of this so this h is simply this one and uh, this is sitting here in this form and this psi is sitting here and this is wrangle it is sitting like this so it is basically cat psi i can write down cat psi in this form and it is e psi and slash no number means it is not giving the equation number to this so that means this is corresponding to it, it is the output of this part right i will tell you in the next lecture that how things can be written okay so now there is another input right so it is the input and corresponding to this input i am getting a equation and which is otherwise very difficult to write down in microsoft office so this is the output of this equation right then there is another equation so this is the equation and corresponding to this equation, uh, sorry, corresponding to this input, uh, I'm getting this output, right? So otherwise, uh, to write down such equation, it becomes very difficult. So basically what you have to do, you have to simply remember that what you are calling these difficult symbols, right? So for example, this dagger is basically this symbol. This is tau and uh, say psi underscore one if i writing it like this then it, it will go as a subscript and so on and it is as a superscript and superscript can be written with the help of this symbol right this symbol is used to write on the superscript and this underscore is, is used to write on the subscript and this is not an equation, but this is a number. When I want to write down the number of equations, then I have to use the command begin equation array and end equation array, right? Then how to insert a figure? And to insert a figure, we have to use the package or import a package in the preamble, that is use package graphics, CX. Note down the spelling. It's very important. So, where you want to insert the figure, you have to use the command begin figure and figure. If you want to write down it in the center, then this is a centering, and then you have to include uh, graphics, and you can adjust the height and width of the figure, and it is the name of the figure, right? And uh, Generally, you, in LaTeX, we will use uh, the files in the EPS format, means figures in either in the EPS format or in the PDF format, or PS format, right? So this is the output of this figure. It is in the folder where we are writing the document. Then you can insert a table. This is a way that how table is inserted. So this is a standard things which you have to keep in mind, right? So it is a horizontal line corresponding to, there is a horizontal line. These vertical lines corresponds to these. And uh, we are using three columns. So one column, two column, and the three column. This is column one, this is column two, and this is column three. And for column, we are using a separator so if we use and so that means this is the text for the first column this is for the second column this is for the third column 
and so on. So, uh, so yeah, this is second row and then the third row. Double slash means I now I am breaking the line. And uh, this is a way that this is the input and corresponding to this output we are getting. Right, and you can modify the same column in a different manner. Right, where I will use H line, horizontal line, double horizontal line I am using. H line means horizontal line. So this way we can uh, change the format of the table. Right, so in this lecture I have shown you that how the equations can be written, equation array can be written, how figure can be inserted and how table can be uh, represented. Now in the next lecture I will practically tell you that how we can write down the, any document in uh, LaTeX, right? So thanks for watching uh, this lecture on LaTeX.